So there are some people out there that um, take some verses in the Quran and their position that they extract from these verses is that it's a point of theology for them that we have to hate people who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who don't believe in the Prophet ﷺ. This is their perspective. And this is a well-known doctrine in some theological sects of Islam. Uh, it is my humble contention and actually the position of the majority of scholars of Islam that that is simply incorrect. The Quran does not tell us, the Quran does not preach an, a, a generic hatred of everybody else. In fact, quite the contrary, there are explicit verses that clearly demonstrate that it is natural, it is completely normal to have uh, positive feelings towards those that are good to you. In fact, in one of the most uh, powerful verses in the Quran that's addressed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah tells him, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يشاء. This verse translates as, you're not going to guide those whom you love, rather Allah guides those whom He wills. And this is well known that this verse was revealed at the death of the uncle of the Prophet ﷺ, Abu Talib. And our Prophet ﷺ was greatly grieved that his uncle did not accept Islam, that towards the end he did not accept Islam, and he died still believing in the, in the idols. And Allah says, you cannot guide those whom you love. And the Arabic word is ahbabta, which is hub. And therefore this verse clearly demonstrates that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had hub for his uncle who was not a Muslim. And so how can anybody claim that Islam tells us to preach or preaches that we have to hate people of other faiths. Quite the contrary. Uh, Allah is very explicit in the Quran that even if your parents are idol worshippers, they're forcing you to, to worship their false gods. Don't worship those gods, but treat them with the utmost respect, with the utmost good treatment. And it's natural that children are going to have love for their parents regardless of the beliefs of their parents. Therefore, in a nutshell, no, the Quran does not tell us to unconditionally hate people of other faiths and backgrounds. And inshallah, we'll talk more about this in my class, no doubt.